Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So a little while back, I decided to do a dual boot of Linux Mint, which is what I'm using right now, and Windows 10. Now, this is something that I really try to avoid for many years because I have been a Linux user for a little over 10 years. And out of those 10 years, I would say about six years has been using nothing but Linux or GNU Linux as my main operating system. Now, I still do use Windows 10, but it's always been in a virtual machine. And I have used this setup for many years without any issues. But now it came to the point where I really did need to do a dual boot setup. And I actually did do a video on this on why I decided to dual boot. So if you want to see my specific reasons for that, I'll leave that video in the description area below. And so today, after a few months of having this dual boot setup, I wanted to give some of my updates and thoughts on doing this. Because my previous experience with doing dual boot in the past with Windows has really not been great. And I would say most of the times it's due to Windows. You know, whether it would corrupt the actual partition that I had or worse yet, corrupt my hard drive or just do things that I did not expect or definitely didn't like. Because a lot of times Microsoft Windows tries to take over your hard drives or other partitions. That's just the nature of Microsoft Windows. And so I was very hesitant to do a dual boot, you know, specifically since I really love using Linux as my main operating system and I really feel like I never wanted to go back to Windows as my main operating system. But now that I've had a few months to use this, um, overall I'm very surprised. Um, I'm surprised that I haven't had any issues technically uh, with using uh, Linux Mint or Windows 10 and the way I have it set up is I have it on two separate hard drives. I wanted to avoid partitioning everything on one hard drive. I have done that before and it's caused problems. But even when I did a dual hard drive setup in the past, I've had problems. But so far, I've had no issues. Uh, Linux Mint is still my main operating system. I'm still able to do 95% of everything I need using Linux Mint. And it's just that 5% that I still need, need Windows 10. And so now let's head over to Windows 10, uh, my Windows 10 hard drive. Uh, to show you some of the general reasons why I decided to do this dual boot setup and also maybe give some insights on people who might be wary or you know maybe kind of worried that you know doing a dual boot hard drive or dual boot partition setup of you know Linux and Windows you know it could be a problem for some but I'm just going to share some of my experiences. For the best value in domain names check out Namecheap where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than ten dollars Plus, get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so now we're on my Windows 10 hard drive. And so in general, the main reasons why I decided to do this do boot setup is quite simple. There's just software and hardware that I want to be able to use. And Windows 10 is going to have the best compatibility. That's really a very simple answer. And being a Linux user for many years, I completely understand that you could always find alternative software or you could actually figure out a way to make Windows or Apple Mac software work in Linux. But I think the most important thing for me is time. And the operating system at the end of the day, regardless of which one you're using, there's simply tools that allow you to do whatever you need, whether it's work, whether it's entertainment, whatever the case might be. And so I think that is the most valuable thing. Whereas when I was starting out using Linux early on, a lot of the software and hardware, they were just not good. But nowadays, it's so much better. But unfortunately, it's never going to be quite as compatible as Windows 10 because obviously this is the most used desktop platform. And this is the one that both hardware manufacturers and software manufacturers are going to support the most. And so that is the main reason because I just want to use my operating system for whatever it is. And unfortunately, in this case, Windows 10 is going to work the best. Now, those are the general reasons why I decided to use this. And my overall experience with this dual boot setup has really been great. You know, even with all these Windows 10 updates, which there are a lot, and even uh, the Linux updates, I haven't had any issues up to this point. And I'm able to get the full hardware performance out of my computer uh, through Windows 10 because obviously the drivers are made for that. So there's definitely advantages there. And in the future, if I decided to get other hardware, whether it's a GPU, maybe I decided to buy a VR headset, a 3D printer, or maybe I decided to get some video editing hardware, um, I don't have to worry about compatibility because it's going to work in Windows 10. And so those are all the reasons why I really decided to do this dual boot setup.
And who knows, you know, maybe a lot of the issues that I had with software or hardware, it might be solved later on for Linux. But until that comes, you know, I'm going to use this dual boot setup. And so getting into the negatives of this dual boot setup, it always comes down to Microsoft Windows for me. Because the overall user experience of Microsoft Windows is the main reason why I decided to leave it in the first place. Specifically things like privacy issues, overall performance issues, and most importantly, the feeling that you never have complete freedom of your operating system, uh, regardless of how less annoying Windows 10 is versus Windows 10 of the past. At the end of the day, whether you're using Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac, they always have complete control of the operating system. Whereas in Linux, I have complete control. And that's always going to be the main reason why I stick with Linux. Besides the obvious reasons of stability and overall performance and software compatibility, you know, that's the main reason why I decided to move to Linux and why I still use it to this day. But in general, my overall experience so far with this dual boot setup has been pretty great. And I'm really happy that I do have these on separate hard drives. Now, even though it could run into issues in the future, I feel a lot better with doing this than having a partition of a single hard drive because if something were to happen, then I could potentially lose both operating system. Whereas having this dual hard drive setup allows me to unplug Windows 10 if I ever want to stop using that. And so those are all my updates on doing a dual boot setup of Linux Mint and Windows 10. And if you did want to see my entire video of how I did this dual boot setup, I will leave a link to the video in the description area below. And if you had any thoughts on doing this dual boot setup where you have a dual partition or maybe a dual hard drive setup like I have here, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.